Hello everyone, my name is B.O.B. You might remember me from such films as Minecraft Tutorial 2-Way Flying Machine Bedrock Edition or Minecraft Tutorial Flying Machine Elevator Bedrock Edition or Minecraft Tutorial 3x3 Piston Door with Key Card Entry. But today I would like to talk to you about something that's very, very serious and very near and dear to my heart. Did you know that one in five members of the JSP SMP are homeless? Just look at this encampment of the server's newest member, Christo, who is forced to sleep outside next to their shop. And it is actually a nice looking shop. I mean, that ain't bad. I wouldn't have built it right next to the rocket shop, but I mean, that, that's, a, that's a pretty decent looking build. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. And I'm afraid it doesn't stop there. This neighborhood where Christo has forced to sleep out in the wilderness, exposed to the elements. It isn't even a good neighborhood. Just recently, there was a chain of theft. A bunch of pistons were stolen from this very platform. And a death of someone named Danny, who I don't even know. But you can help. You can help Christo by liking this video. You can help Christo find a home. And by subscribing to the channel, maybe we can arrange long-term living arrangements for Christo. Please, won't you do something to make a difference for someone else today? What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the JSP SMP. Now, today's episode might be a little bit all over the place. You see, I got a couple of things planned, but I haven't decided what thing I want to do first. And on top of our, my planned projects, uh, I'm supposed to be meeting up with Geo at some point today so we can go bastion hunting. We want to get our hands on that netherite upgrade uh, as nobody on the server has it yet. And I'm the only person with netherite gear because I had it before the update. So uh, hopefully that clip will be in included in today's episode. But in the meantime, I do got a few small infrastructure projects I want to kind of sort out. All right, the first little project is going to be here in our nether hub. See, since my base was here first, it became sort of a central point around the hub. And so all roads basically lead to my base. Uh, this could cause some problems with traffic because, I mean, at first you couldn't even get a boat the whole way through here. Uh, I did kind of build a road around my little carpeted area. But I'm thinking I could do one better on this, like, uh, I'm, I'm gonna open this up all the way down there, because this road kind of turns to the left down here anyway, and then that heads out to Alpaca's base, and then this way over here leads to the shopping district. So it used to be every time Alpaca would come through, you'd have to get out of his boat and either break it or steal another boat over here, and then he'd come down here to this intersection, and this turn here leads to the shopping district. Which, uh, he did point out that this was kind of hard to, uh, get around at first, too. And I, I kind of fixed that. It's a little bit easier now. But I think it'll be even easier if I just widen this whole thing out and then just have a road that goes straight through. That means people don't have to stop at my base or run into my carpet or anything like that. They can avoid it really, really easily if they're just trying to slip by. By the way, all of these things were brought to my attention when I watched Alpaca's stream, which you can also watch on his channel. Go check that out. And there we go. We got it nice and opened up in here. Real easy to slip by. So, you know, if Geo wants to go over to the end dimension, he won't have to get out of his base when he gets to my base. He can just scoot right around. Uh, you know, we got the end portal right here. And then Alpaca's base is out past this. Now, Alpaca can come by and doesn't have to get out of his boat to go over to the shopping district. Everybody can just slip right by my base, turn right down here to go to the shopping district, and boom. He's there. Nice and easy. So, that's one project done with. I am thinking at some point I might decorate around, uh, at least around my portal. I don't want to decorate all these hallways i mean this one's more than a thousand blocks long <laughs> but uh, i think at least around my portal i might do something i don't know that'll be a project for another day probably all right my next project is going to be uh well i want to do a, just a little bit of terraforming around the shopping district here you see we got crystal wandering around down there uh 
But there's a few spots where it's just like uh, there's random holes in the beach, you know, like over in here. And then like a, a random dirt spot, which I think I'm going to just fill that in with sand. Uh, there's a few death traps over in that area where it opens up into a big cave that I just kind of want to cover up. Just, you know, make the area in general a, a little bit nicer if I can. You could see what I mean by the death trap in the shopping district here. You know, we just have the shops right over there and up on top of the hill. There's like a great big ravine. Well, I mean, it isn't that bad. You probably wouldn't die, but it'd be a lot easier to build shops if this wasn't here. So I'm going to go ahead and cover all this over. And, well, it's barely noticeable, but I did I did do a little bit of cleanup. And it looks as though there was there was another death on the server. Who is this? Who is it this time? Billy. Oh, no, not Billy. I don't know Billy either. One positive note is uh, Christo set up a redstone shop. And the, the prices are pretty fair. I just got myself a stack of repeaters for a dime. And uh, I was almost out of repeaters, so that works out. And I suppose I should explain what all these other buildings are here in the shopping district. Uh, we have Alpaca's End Shop here, which only sells Ender Pearls at the moment. I don't know if he's planning on adding anything to that. Uh, if I was him, I'd fly around the end and collect all the Elytra and sell those for like 20 diamonds a pop. There'd be a lot of profit in that. Um, up here we got Squiddy's Wood Shop, and there's like uh, arrangements to make special requests and things like that. Uh, down here is... He's been working on a trading hall uh, where, you know, if somebody wants a certain material, they can put out sort of a bounty on that material and offer up a reward or for trade, you know, for diamonds or maybe a different material. But you can post all that stuff in here. I don't know the full details. I suppose it's all on these signs here. Uh, you guys can pause and read them if you want. I'll read that on my own time. And also, this is a build of mine. I did this in between episodes. Uh, actually, when Squiddy was working on his wood shop, I threw this together. And this is just sort of a trim exchange. Basically, all the trims that I have located, I've put them out here so people can come, bring their own diamonds and materials to duplicate them, and then, uh, so that way everybody can have whatever trim they want. And also, I have put bounties out on all the trims that I do not have. So if anybody finds those, they can bring them to me. I will pay them 20 diamonds, duplicate the trim with my own diamonds, and add it to the trim exchange so everybody could have it. And I put out bonus rewards for the netherite upgrade and the silence upgrade. The netherite's worth 32 diamonds, and the silence is worth 64. But I might go after that netherite one myself. Uh... Well, I've already tried. Let me explain. So Geo and I, as well as another new member to the realm named Cryo, actually did go and try and hunt down a bastion. And we found one, but we didn't retrieve anything from said bastion. In fact, by the end of it, I was the only one <laughs> alive, still there. Everybody had lost their stuff. It was, it was just a horrible fail of a situation, but I got a few clips. Let me show you. <laughs> Well, I'm you recording. I'm mm -hmm. recording as of right now. So, just let you guys know. And hello, <laughs> hello YouTube. <laughs> oh man, I need to block that. So we're trying to find a bastion here. Uh, <laughs> does this lead like into open Nether, or do we gotta dig? No, it, I've already dug it out. Oh, okay. All right. All right. As you can see, uh, oh, not this way, not this way. That's this way. Death. This way. That's definitely this death. way is safer. Death is that this way. This way is way safer. <laughs> there were so many skeletons see? out there. <laughs> uh, B, where are you at? I'm still back by the stairwell. There are still so many skeletons. I'm getting out of here. Wait, yeah. Just blow away. You're right. Oh, uh, here, here, here. Uh, I, I have that drill. Have a stack. Have some of those. Have a stack. Oh, where, where? Uh, Go ahead and yeah, grab. Well, Ooh, fire it out with that's gold. really a really good idea. Yeah, go ahead and grab some of those too. Oh yeah, that's hey. a great idea actually. Then, what did I just craft? I don't know. Oh no, I crafted something. No. we don't really need. That. I crafted twenty-four buttons. Oh, oh no. God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Ah! 
There are so many of them too. There are so many. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like. I want to have a heart. I died. I'm dead. How does that have full gold? He, nearly full diamond. He stole yours. He stole mine. Yeah, grab that diamond gear. Don't know. worry. I, we'll we'll get ah. it. I'm out of inventory space, B. All right, I'm coming. I'm... First hallway is by B's portal. Second hallway is towards my main portal. Third hallway. Uh, you say your spawn point way up there? Oh no! no. Was... There goes all my stuff. No! Oh. I am yes. here. Yes, I did. You're here. I am here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I have your. I'm sword. on my way. I'm, all, I'm almost here. There's your sword. Thank you. Right there. Right. Let's see anything else of yours. Uh, I have cooked pork chop. Let's look. Oh jeez. Oh no, I don't have any uh, ammo. I'm at positive 500. Krista, what are oh, you no. doing? I'm still oh, here. We're right back stuff. in this same <laughs> spot. Same exact spot. I'm, not... I'm just going to build a base right here. I'm just going to build a base right here because this is... Oh my god. Oh my god. There are so many. How many? Like five or three. No, no, no. Oh. Oh. They're taking all the gear. No! Okay. My okay. Gear. We got it. We got all it. All right. Okay, let's. Please get out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. Oh, your name tag, I'm pretty sure. Mine? Oh, there's somebody. E, I see you. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Save me, I'm on one heart. <laughs> I don't think I'd be. you'd be able to see me. I currently blocked myself underground. Oh, oh saturation oh, wow. of these. I've never tasted so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Now that that's over, um, can we go home now? <laughs> We're right above another fortress, that's the thing. Okay, B, where are you at? Uh, uh, I don't know, negative 800, let's not, let's go to <laughs> negative 848, to positive 2000. Let's go there. Okay, well, I am, uh, I am at the Bastion. Oh, jeez. Probably just get up to the nether roof and try and get a portal to this place. So to summarize, I made it to the Bastion with a very clustered inventory and I felt very unprepared to actually raid it. So I think what I'm going to do now is go back out there and get the job done. So when I was tunneling home before I even see I'm on my way back out to the Bastion now, I... <laughs> I tunneled right over this. I didn't even notice it. I'm going to dig that out. And we are back. Back to Bastion. And and I'm determined. I'm going to raid this place. I don't even know if the trim I want is here. But I'm, I'm going to find out. And hopefully I don't get killed in the process. I'm going to be very careful. <laughs> Sneak in slowly. Try and take out any opposition before it actually becomes a threat. We got a treasure room down there. Sort of wish I would have brought some ender pearls. That would have been a smart move. I suppose it's not too late. Get some out of my ender chest. Feel like, feel like the treasure would be down there, right? And that, look at that. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work my way down. And like I said, I want to go slow and careful. And make sure I can't get swarmed at any point in time during this procedure.
Okay, I found another treasure chest. Fingers crossed. And no, no, nothing great. Oh, we'll grab what's decent. I ain't, I ain't actually worried about that obsidian, but. Uh, hmm. Yeah, the bone block. Bone block would be useful. Why not grab the arrows? I already have a slot for them. I guess iron nuggets, sure, why not? And yeah, we'll take the magma creams because I don't think I have any of them. Okay, let's make our way down into that section and see if we can't find something good. Sketchy, sketchy. Already hearing noises, don't like it. Limit their ways through. Oh, there's definitely stuff down at the bottom there. Maybe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is sketch. This is sketch. I shouldn't be doing this alone. Probably not a good idea. Uh, but I suppose getting here was difficult in a group, so eh, yeah. <laughs> Might as well go for it. There are so many. There are so many piglins. If I disrupt anything. Oh. Oh, they're going to be after me. And the treasure's got to be down there, uh, all the way, the main treasure, and, like, and I don't even know if there's any other ones hidden in these, like, sides and stuff. I've, I've raided, like, one of these places before, when they first got ad added to the game, and have not raided one since, because it, well, that wasn't a very pleasant experience, I'll be honest with you. Now the brutes, they're gonna attack no matter what. As soon as I get close, they're gonna come at me. So I gotta definitely watch out for them. But these guys in brown, they shouldn't be a threat unless I pick up any gold, like break any gold blocks or get into any chests. And that means any chest. If I place down my own shulker in this area and get into that, they're gonna come at me. I don't know why they do that. It's annoying, but it's a thing. Time to snipe some brutes. There's another chest over there, so I'll definitely see what's in there. Okay, I think I'm clear. I think I'm clear. <gasps> ding, 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 ding! Yes! Mission accomplished! Finally! That is awesome! Okay, I don't even care about anything else in this place. I am getting out of here. <laughs> Yeah, mission success. I am headed back home. Ooh, and then I'll come back another time with, with like a group of us. It'll be a little bit safer if we can retrieve one another's stuff. Plus, we'll all have netherite gear at that point. So uh, less likeliness of everybody losing their stuff in lava. Uh, I feel so relieved to be out of there. And we are back home safe and sound. And we got a, a couple little rewards, but this is the main prize. And it ain't even that big of a prize for me because I already had netherite gear. And it's actually going to cost me a lot of diamonds because I'm going to have to uh, duplicate this to put it in the exchange. Um, but I kind of saved myself some diamonds because I would have rewarded one of the peeps 32 diamonds if they went out and find this, found this themselves. But I guess they all missed out on that. Okay, I bought some diamond gear from the villagers and just taken the enchantments off of them. I've duped this. Don't worry, I have an extra one in a chest so I can use all these up without ha having to worry about using the last one. And of course, I got to use some netherite ingots for this, right? <laughs> That's how you do it. Uh, so this is actually costing me a lot. I hope the peeps appreciate this one. Uh... Like I said, you know, I saved myself 32 diamonds. 
just by going and getting it myself. So I guess that works out. Now I'm going to take this over to the shopping district and put everything up on display. And here we go. All lined up. Now we still have uh, eight trims that have yet to be found in this world. And hopefully people get out there and get them because each one is worth 20 diamonds except for the silence trim which is worth 64 simply because of rarity and the difficulty to to get to it. You know, you're going to have to get past a warden. So I think I'm going to just call it an episode there. I mean, it was mission accomplished. Uh, I didn't even touch in on the two projects I teased at the beginning of this episode. So we're going to do one of those the next episode. But I'm not going to tell you which because... I still haven't decided. Uh, you know, as always, if you enjoyed the video, what do you do? You like the video. Yes, yes, the little thumbs up in the corner. Yes, do that. And, of course, if you want to see more of these videos, you're going to want to subscribe, right? Obviously, you should do that. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching and wish you all a wonderful day.